Editing video on a mobile device can be very convenient, but a lot of times you need a program that's more powerful than anything available on an iPad. Well, now you can edit video on an iPad or a phone and finish it off on Adobe Premiere. Let me show you how. Hey, what's up everyone? This video is gonna show you how to take your video projects created in LumaFusion for iOS and continue editing them on Adobe Premiere. Unfortunately, you will need an intermediary program to do this because Adobe Premiere does not support the latest Final Cut Pro XML files. It only supports Final Cut Pro 7 files. For those who upgrade from Final Cut Pro 7, Adobe recommends using software that costs $50 to do the conversion. However, there is a free way of doing the conversion, but it involves installing the DaVinci Resolve video editor. You can load Final Cut Pro XML files exported from LumaFusion, import them into DaVinci Resolve, and then export a Premiere compatible XML file. So let's go through the process of doing this. First, let's go through the requirements of doing this. This video is for LumaFusion users, so you will need that app installed on your iOS device. Next, you will need a copy of DaVinci Resolve installed on your computer. It's free and available for both Windows and Mac so don't hesitate to install it. Finally, since this is about exporting to Premiere, you will need that installed as well. So once you have all those requirements, I want you to keep a couple of things in mind. Use LumaFusion to lay out the order of your video and audio. Do not add any effects, animations, keyframes, or advanced features because this will not translate very well in the export. Your titles will also be converted to a static PNG file. Once you have the layout ready, add any effects or other advanced features in Premiere itself. So here I have a sample project that is one minute long. I have the video and audio laid out just how I want it and I'm ready to export it. The XML export feature is not included and must be added through a $20 in-app purchase. To access it, just tap on the share export button, then tap on XML project package. If you have not purchased it yet, you will be asked to purchase it. If it's already been purchased, you'll be asked the location you want to export to. I'm going to select my file server, but you can choose other locations such as internal storage, cloud storage, and more. After selecting your export location, you now have the option for the type of export. In the FCP project settings area, you can see it's set to full media. This will create a zip file that includes the XML file along with all the media you use in your project. The next option is Trimmed Media. For this option, instead of including the full media in your project, it will trim your media to just the parts used. So, if you have a one minute clip that you only use 30 seconds of footage, it will only include those 30 seconds, along with an additional two seconds before and after, instead of the full one minute clip. This will cut down on the size of the zip file being exported. The last option is No Relinkable Media. This will only create an XML file and you will have to relink your media later. I'm going to choose the full media and continue the export process. When the exporting is done, I'll go into my computer and start the import process. Okay, so on your computer, make sure you transfer the exported file onto it. I exported it to my file server, so I'll copy it to a folder on my desktop. I'll unzip the file, then head over to DaVinci Resolve to start importing. I'll create a new project and name it Luma to Resolve. To import the LumaFusion project, click on File, Import Timeline, and Import AAF EDL XML. Navigate to the folder where you extracted the files to, and double click on the XML file. Now you will be shown some options here. Make sure that automatically set project settings and automatically import source clips into the media pool are selected. These options will match your LumaFusion project settings with Resolve and also import the clips into Resolve's media pool. I get a warning that Resolve can't find 17 of the 19 clips referenced in the XML file. To fix this, click on Yes. I'll navigate to the folder that has my exported media and click on OK. I'm warned again that one file still cannot be found. Let's click no this time, we can fix this later. 
Now the media is imported and we are also shown which file it couldn't find. This is good information because we now know which file to fix. However, the titles I created in LumaFusion also didn't import. So let's fix those first. To fix them, go to the media pool and hold the control key and select each of the files. After that, right click on one of them, then select relink selected clips. Navigate to the folder that has the clips and click on select folder. And you can see that the titles now show up. Now let's fix that missing video file. Media that's in your timeline is supposed to show up in the media pool. However, I do not see this specific file. But since I know which file was missing from the earlier error message, I can just drag it into the media pool from a folder on my computer. Here's the file that's missing. All I have to do is drag it from this folder and into the resolved media pool. And the timeline will be automatically updated. And now you can see the file has been detected. So everything is cleaned up and ready for export. To export, click on File, Export AAF XML. Choose a location you want to save the file to, and in the Save As Type dropdown, we want to select FCP7 XML. You can also use the AAF and EDL formats, but I personally had the best experience with FCP7 XML. I'll save, and now it's time to import the XML into Premiere. So open up Premiere and create a new project. Now to import the project, click on File, Import, go to the folder that has the XML file you exported from Resolve. Double click on it. And it's now imported, but there are still a couple of things we need to do. If there are any missing files, then we need to relink them. We also need to load the timeline. Let's first relink any missing media. Click on the editing tab at the top. To the bottom left is the media browser that has all the media that's linked to the project. Any media that's missing will have a paper icon with a question mark on it. It looks like only one file is missing. To relink it, right click on it, then click on Link Media. On the window that pops up, click the Locate button. Navigate to the folder that has all the media for your project and look for the missing file and double click on it. The file is now available. Now that we cleaned up missing files, we want to load the timeline into Premiere. The timeline is also in the media browser. Its name is the same as the XML file and it also has a timeline icon to the bottom right of its thumbnail. If you move your mouse around it, it will preview your video. To load the timeline into Premiere, just double click on it. And you can now see the timeline loaded. So we're done. You can now continue your project and add any advanced features and effects you want. You won't be able to export back to LumaFusion, so you must finish your project in Premiere. So we're done with the demonstration. It's nice to be able to begin editing a file on your tablet and then finish it on your desktop or laptop. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel. Thank you, and I'll speak to you next time.